Hello everyone, Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching. This video is going to be an unboxing video for a Surefire X300 Ultra. So, uh, I got this from OpticsPlanet.com. I went straight to Surefire's website uh, to order one, and Surefire, the company that makes this, was out of stock uh, for what I wanted. And I had to rely on one of their dealers to get one of their products. How funny, right? Um, so at time of recording, uh, it is uh, May 13th, 2024. Uh, so the beginning of May, probably around May 4th-ish or so, uh, <clears throat> I had began my search for um, another X300 light. And I had a, a bit of a difficulty. Um, I wouldn't say difficulty, but I guess maybe a, a little bit of a speed bump or a hurdle uh, searching for this light because the search engines are pretty much anti-gun. So like if you try to search anything gun related on Google, uh, especially if you know like gun sales and stuff, it's not going to be populating things very easily because um, they're anti-gun and their algorithms and everything just kind of um, block certain things or put things at the very, very end of search results. So it makes it hard to find deals on some of the stuff. So uh, I looked at different vendors' websites that I knew of that would carry this stuff, and uh, most of them were retailing around um, ballpark three hundred and thirty dollars. Um, I found actually um, some cheaper ones, but they were the the B version. So the X three hundred comes in two different styles: uh, your A version and your B version. The A version is the quick attach the b version is the thumb screw attachment so i'm guessing that um a lot of these dealers and stuff have a bunch of x300 bravo versions um, and they're having a hard time moving them which would explain why more than one vendor had them at such a cheap price the a version on the other hand <laughs> uh, they're all around well, most of the ones, I'm going to say all, because obviously OpticsPlanet.com Planet, Optics was not at the highest end, uh, but the majority of them all were up there around the ballpark of 330. Um, I did, interestingly enough, come across a listing on PrimaryArms.com, and they had the A version for um, under 300. It was like... 226, 229, or something like that. And I was like, holy crap. Um, unfortunately, I didn't jump on it right then. I I had uh, found it, saved the link, and um, didn't have time to you know sit down and enter stuff in until like a, a day or two later. And I go back to that site, and bam, it is no longer at that 220 something price. So kicking myself for not you know getting the time, jumping on there and doing it right then and there. Um, Optics Planet, uh, I found this one for, it was 304, I believe, um, and free shipping. So, pretty cool on that. Um, so, as you see, Surefire Box comes with um, a manual uh, sticker, some product stuff advertising for different lights. Oh, here's the actual manual right, manual right there. This is just a um, kind of a warning thing. And then inside the case itself, you've got the light, you've got some Loctite, and you have some different um, attachments here uh, that are for mounting uh, to the gun. It comes with a mounting plate and everything already on it. Um, I know that for Glock pistols, right out the box, this will fit on the Glock pistols. Uh, these different attachments, I honestly am not sure what exactly these are for. It does look like um, these little tabs right here on this one are different. Uh, so it may be just a different um, textile uh, kind of actuator right there to be able to do the quick detach so that you press these down and and move this locking bar down um, but right out the box this works for me so my 
other X300, same thing. Got it out the box, slipped it onto the block. It works fine. Um, it comes with batteries in it, but you have to open up the battery compartment and take out this little uh, piece of paper here that's covering the terminals. That way it doesn't accidentally activate during shipping. Um, these things get will get super hot when you have them turned on and they stay on. Um, and there's probably, this little warning thing probably talks about that somewhere because I know a lot of other uh, Surefire products um, give you a warning that um, the, the light gets super hot and it, it can start fires if you leave it on and it's against something that can be uh, combustible with enough heat. Um, but took the little battery cover thing out, so I'll just do a function check. Uh, momentary left paddle, momentary right paddle, constant on from the right paddle, constant on. Oh, well, go back down. It's kind of hard to mess with this when it's not attached to the gun. And then constant paddle to the left. All right, so function check wise, this light works. It fires up, it seems plenty bright. So it's gonna be going onto the gun uh, soon after this. So I uh, already have an X300. Why did I get another one? Uh, well, got another gun. So I believe that all fighting pistols should have weapon mounted lights on them. Um, the current gun that I'm carrying right now is a Glock 17 Gen 3 with an X300 on there. Uh, the new gun I've got is a Glock 47 and um, that's it also has a, a red dot sight on there and once I get some training completed and I've gotten myself acquainted with that red dot sight I'm going to transition to that red dot pistol. Um, and like I said all fighting pistols should have weapon mounted lights. Now could I have taken the X300 off my um, Glock 17 and just transitioned it over to the 47? Yes, yeah, certainly. But um, I do like the idea of having more than one of something. So uh, the old adage of one is none, two is one certainly comes into play here, which I have another weapon mounted light. It's not a Surefire X300, it is a Streamlight uh, weapon mounted light. Um, but I wanted for sure another X300 because that would fit into all of my holsters, uh, particularly my concealed holsters. So my, my duty holsters, that stream light fits into it on a Glock. Um, my conceal holsters, it does not because the conceal holsters are more precisely molded for that particular combination of Glock and uh, stream light. So uh, if something were to happen to the 47 um, and I needed a backup gun, boom, I can go right back to my old gun, have the same stuff on it, whatever. Um, and then also, once I transition to the 47, uh, that Glock 17 with X300 is going to become a, a loner pistol for training classes or for some of my uh, security operations. So if someone doesn't have, for whatever reason, um, their own gun, that is something I can be able to issue out to them to be able to have. Or if, um, you know, knock on wood, um, hope it don't happen, but uh, if something like a self-defense self shooting were to occur, um, of course their pistol is going to be taken uh, as evidence until the case is cleared. And I don't want anyone to be left without a fighting weapon. So if that were to happen, boom, they would then take possession of that um, Glock 17 to have protection until uh, they can get themselves another gun or get their original gun back from uh, the courts. So um, that is it pretty much on this video. Not much else to show on here as far as parts or um, of the product itself. Uh, but I just, I do wanna reiterate again that all fighting weapons should have weapon mounted lights. Your gun should be a 24 seven gun. It should not be a gun that only works great during the day and can kind of work at night. It needs to be great at both. And, it not, and not just nighttime either. Um, it still needs to be able to work great during the day because during the day, you may find yourself in a structure um, that has no windows for the sunlight to reach in. You may be in a hallway of a large building. You may be in a basement, whatever. You may be in a, a dark uh, structure 
and there's no good sunlight coming in. So even if you are counting on uh, uh, the fact that you work daytime or you're out during the day most of the time, it's not nighttime hardly, you don't need a weapon-mounted light, you're wrong. You do need a weapon-mounted light because that gun needs to be 24-7 and it needs to be capable in all environments. So, um, when it does come to weapon-mounted lights, you, you're going to get what you pay for. And my recommendation for weapon-mounted lights are Surefire, Streamlight, Mod Light, and Cloud Defensive. Um, there's a lot cheaper lights out there, but like I said, you get what you pay for. Um, so if it's not those four right there, I don't recommend it. Yeah, I know that Olight has a really great cheap price on their products, as does other brands. But there's a reason why you do not see, by large, um, lots of public safety agencies out there issuing those things to their officers. And you got to think, public safety agencies are government, right? They're already strapped for cash. So if they're hurting f with their budget and they would want to be budget friendly with things, you would think that they would go with the cheaper vendor, you know, go for a, a product where it's going to be around a hundred bucks for a, for a product versus one of these other companies where it's going to be well over 200. If they can't, if those companies cannot get their products to those public safety agencies at those cheap prices, that tells you something that tells you that their reliability is not that great. So if you don't see, masses of public safety agencies using products like Olight or Enforce, there's a reason why. They just don't hold up to the abuse. Surefire, Streamlight, Modlight, Cloud Defensive, those hold up to abuse. Those are used by industry professionals um, and they are, they're proven to work. So spend the money on those brands, forget those other brands. Because in the moment that you need something like this to work, you need to know damn well that it's going to work for sure, right? Sure fire. I'm pretty sure that's probably <laughs> why their name exists because it used to be something, um, something laser was in its name. And I forgot what the company history was, but um, sure fire, like it is sure to fire, right? All right. If you like what you hear and see, go ahead and give me a like and a share. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching.